Hi everyone, welcome back. In this video, we are going to cover uh, a very popular service from AWS that is EC2 that stands for Elastic Cloud Compute. Now, this service is basically consists of multiple capabilities. Okay, like for example, we can create VM, we can store data uh, on the virtual drives, uh, we can also use it for a scaling purpose. Uh, we can distribute the load across machines etc we will get to know while we'll do the hands-on but yeah just to understand this is a very popular uh, service from aws and uh, uh, i also explained infrastructure as a service this that is one of the type of the cloud so ec2 is the pillar for that uh, infrastructure as a service now what we will do uh, i'll just start the demo that uh, how we we can create a new instance of EC2, what options we have while we'll create the EC2 instance. So let's start the demo. Okay, I am on my AWS console and here what we need to do is we can, we need to search EC2. So EC2 which uh, relies in the service of virtual service servers in the cloud, click on that. And uh, okay, in this uh, we can see some information since we have not created any EC2 instance. So we can see this launch instance option is coming. Uh, okay, click on launch instance. And we can specify name of the instance. So I'll just say my EC2 instance. Okay, let's scroll down. And uh, here are the in the quick start we can see the options available. Like uh, we, we we have Amazon Linux, macOS, etc. We can browse more AMIs available. These are out of the box AMIs, but we can create our own custom AMI also. But just for this demo, I am going to select the out of the box one which are available in the quick start panel and then next option is we need to select the ami uh, please remember there are multiple options given here but we need to select the free tier eligible one otherwise it will cost some money so i'm going to select uh, amazon linux 2023 ami okay so that is that is free tier one scroll down okay and it's showing instance type so in there are multiple instance types also if we click on this we'll get to know what are those instance types so for example t2.micro which will have one vcpu one uh, gigabyte uh, memory etc if we select maybe t2 small then it will it is a little bit more uh, here it's uh, one gig here is two gig and uh, and so on but all of them are not free tier eligible so we can just select t2 micro for this demo and uh, okay for key pair login so uh, we are going to create this instance and i have selected the linux one so i am going to use the key pair uh, i need to create this so that i can connect it using ssh so right now there are no key pair uh, created so far that's why this option is coming because if I so there there are no key pair right now I have not uh, until I have not created so uh, just click on this create a new key pair give some name to the key pair so I'll say my ec2 key key pair and uh, the key pair type is rs7 that is fine dot pem newer uh, version of uh, os operating system does support dot pem file it's fine uh, if like your version is uh, uh, maybe windows 7 or uh, uh, previous to windows 7 then we can select dot ppk also but that is fine P pem is fine click on create key pair so it is coming now and it downloaded also nothing but uh, the security credentials okay let's move ahead then uh, okay it is showing network setting 
uh, we want, it will create this uh, ect launch will also create a security group which will allow ssh traffic from so this is a wide card entry so it's it means anywhere anywhere from any ip that ssh traffic will be allowed i'll also allow um, http traffic and uh, i have allowed ssh traffic as well as http traffic okay let's move on and then we have this storage configuration so this is the default one and that is fine i just don't want to add new volume tape that is fine let's see the advanced details so domain uh, that is fine uh, enable resource space that is also fine I, i'm just not changing anything here just the default selected ones i'm not creating any spot inst instances we will cover what is spot instance okay that's it okay yeah here comes the thing uh, which is user data so what is use this user data we also call it as ec2 uh, uh, user data what will happen at the time of your uh, this ec2 launch at the time of boot this uh, os boot right if you want to install any update or anything you want to do so for example you want to install in software or you want to uh, uh, download some files anything okay so what we can do here in the ec2 user data itself here itself we can specify those scripts and uh, what it it will uh, that script will just run first time only when the instance will be created at that time only that script will be executed if we stop the server we start the instance again then uh, that script will this script won't be invoked only at the time of first time uh, boot that time only this script will be invoked so what i have done i have just uh, taken this script and i will explain what it, it will do so it will just start uh, install some updates and then finally what we are going to do we are creating a file okay and in that file i'm just writing learning is fun that's it so at the time of boot uh, it will uh, first install some updates and then http server and then finally it will write a file index.html and then we will write this text to that index.html that's it okay okay uh, let's scroll down okay that's it i think everything looks good number of instances one let's click on launch instance it might take a few seconds okay so it says the so, uh, uh, the instance has been initiated so let's click on the instance id and here we should see our instance the current state is pending but uh, it will take few more seconds and we start running let me pause the video okay now we can see the instance is up it is showing running and if we click on the instance id we'll get more information about the instance so it says uh, what is the instance id what is the public ipv4 address what is the private ipv4 address just remember one thing if we stop the server and we start the server again the public ip address will change so it is not uh, fixed whereas the private ipv4 will always be uh, same i mean it won't it will never change for instance okay so maybe i will go back here and i will select this okay so we can see the public ip private ip uh, then what else we can see i'll just make it little bit up uh, and then we can see the amazon ami id which we have used the linux server which we have used uh, okay capacity etc let's go to the security okay so these are the security group rules we what we have seen uh, the uh, we have created two security uh, groups the rules are one is for um, 80 one is for 80 port one is for 22 port basically one is for ssh and one is for uh, that http which we have opened and uh, from anywhere the white card entry sources was anywhere so those entries are here and uh, yes 
स्टोरेज या दिस इज द स्टोरेज विच इज प्रोवाइडेड ओके लेट्स गो बैक टू डिटेल एंड वॉट विल डू आई जस्ट कॉपी दिस आई पी वी फॉर एड्रेस विच इज द पब्लिक वन आई जस्ट कॉपी दिस इट हियर एंड इट वॉज एंड वी इनेबल्ड इट ऑन एच टी टी पी पोर्ट नॉट एन एच टी टी पी एस आई जस्ट हिट द एच टी टी पी एंड एंड वी कैन सी दैट द इंडेक्स डॉट एच टी एम एल फाइल विच द स्क्रिप्ट वॉट वी हैड रिटर्न एंड इन दैट स्क्रिप्ट वी हैड टेक आउट दिस लर्निंग इज फन राइट दैट इज एक्सेबल ओके नाउ लेट्स ट्राई वन थिंग वट आई एम गोइंग टू डू आई हैव दिस इज माई इंस्टेंस एंड इफ वी गो हियर एक्शन we what we can do sorry not action but the instance state we can stop the instance and we can reboot the instance and we can terminate the instance terminate means uh, i mean uh, this instance will no longer be there but we can stop the instance let's stop the instance and i will just ju just this ip right which is uh, i'll just copy paste this somewhere so that we remember what was the ip earlier i'll just copy paste it here okay and now i'll stop the instance and it will give this warning that you want to stop yes <coughs> let me refresh this page okay the current is instance uh, state is stopping right now it's stopping let me pause the video okay now we can see the instance is in stopped state so it's stopped i will go back and uh, let me try refreshing this page i'll just duplicate it so we'll see this is just going on going and it will time out after some time because the server is not running anymore right now what i will do i'll just start this instance and we see this when the server when this instance is stopped there is no public ipv4 address because that is not a uh, static one but still we can see the same ipv4 address for private ip so that that private ip is not changing now what i will do i will just uh, start the instance again and let me refresh it okay let me pause the video okay now we can see that uh, the instance is again running now we'll go back here and then i will try refreshing this page but still it's not up because the public ipv4 address is not that one it's changed now so if i try now this one i'll try to access this so this is working so earlier the ipv4 address was 4420319 but now the ip is changed so now what we have understood if we stop the instance and restart it then the public ipv4 address uh, will change but the private ipv4 will will uh, still remain intact okay so that's it in this video thank you so much for watching